Okay, so I'm going to make a frequency chart and relative frequency and a histogram uh, from some data. And I have a uh, length of movies uh, in minutes. And I want to find out the maximum and minimum length so I know where my bins are going to be. Uh, so I select cell C1 because that's where the title is. And I come over here to sort and filter and choose sort from A to Z. This will make the smallest and largest values. And I can see that my length is 64, my longest one is 120, so I can make my bins representing that. Now I'm going to type in bin here, and we'll make this one start at 60 and go to 70, and I'm going to fill down until I get to past my, my, my top, top one, which is 120, so I have my bins. Now, I have those two pieces of information. I have my data here in column C, and I have my bins in column G. I'm going to make my frequency chart. And I'm going to put it here in starting in cell H1. So first, make sure that your um, analysis tool is on. You need to go to uh, File and then Add-ins, and check your add-ins here. And I notice my analysis tool pack right here has been checked off. So um, if it hasn't, check it off and then click OK. I'm going to click OK anyway. And now if I go to the data ribbon, all the way over here at the end, I have my data analysis tools. I click on this, and I'm going to make a histogram, which is right here. Click OK. Now I need to check to make sure that my input range is right. I have column C. Yep my bin range is correct here's uh, G1 to G9 perfect and where's my output I'm gonna put my output here in H1 excellent I click OK it makes my frequency chart so now I wanna know how many total things I had so I can make my relative frequency go back to home and sum up that column and I get 50 so I'm going to need a relative frequency. I'm going to do my relative frequency. I'm going to take this value equals this value divided by this value here at the bottom. And I want to make sure it's an absolute cell so it doesn't change. I use the F4 key. Okay, So it's always going to divide by that 50. And as I fill down, it turns them into decimals. I click on the percent sign and now I have my percentages. So all of my relative frequencies are right there. And if I add this up, I can see that it's 100%. So I have my frequency distribution and my relative frequency distribution. If I want to have a cumulative frequency, I'm going to take equals. Well, I'm going to start with the first one because that's really all there is. Then, on the next one, I'm going to say it is equal to this value here plus this value here in bin 70. And I have a 4. And as I fill down, it's going to add up the number in the frequency chart to the previous values in the cumulative frequency. And I can see that I have you know, 31, 47, 49, 49, 50, 50, and so on. So I have my cumulative frequencies. So those are how you make your frequency tables. Now I'm going to make a histogram of this data. And so to do that, I just select my data. All right, I have my graph. I'm now going to insert a column chart right there. I don't want a 3D one. I don't want a cone. I just want a plain column chart. And voila, I have now a column chart with some numbers on the side and some numbers on the bottom. Well, the numbers on the bottom represent which value this was. This is the first one, the second one, the third one. I needed to represent these bins. So I need to edit that information. I right click into the graph. I choose select data and it asks me well, what is the horizontal axis I can edit that and tell it it is these numbers 
right here and hit enter and now notice these have all changed here's 60 70 80 90 100 and I can you know put information that's in minutes okay I could put a title in this which you know should always have a title because I only have one value I don't need my legend so I can take that out give a little more space uh, move it down just a little bit so I can see all the rest of my information but this basically is my histogram ability to histogram is chart type 8 I've now made a histogram of my data where the sides are touching. So, if I want, I can put in uh, titles here. I have titles for each of these things. My frequency title, frequency. This is in movie lengths, and the bottom tells me that it's in minutes. So I have my histogram. If I want to put my values in there, I can right-click and um, add data labels. And so now I have my numbers so I can see that very easily. So that's how we create our histogram and our frequency tables uh, with Excel.